welcome to the Ajax Football Club Season 2016 Match Preview for Round 1. Marty Pascal is with me today. Marty, no doubt it's been a long, hard pre-season, but successful has it been through your eyes? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I think that as a coaching group we've, we've done the best we can uh, to present uh, the boys in the best condition possible. Uh, we've also um, put three pretty solid hit outs um, in, in match simulation and, and game practice into the guys, in, including a bit of a game simulation injury club as well on, on Easter weekend. So um, the pre-season has been pleasing, um, but obviously everyone is always going to feel pretty confident um, about their pre-seasons and, and what they've done. And um, So often you hear you're the fittest you've ever been. Um, so you know, we like to think that our preparation has been good um, and obviously the real stuff this weekend uh, kicks off on, on Saturday against Old Scotch and yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge. And um, a new leadership group for 2016 recently announced. Can you let the fans out there know who they are and obviously the vice captains and captain for this year? So uh, we were pleased to announce that uh, Nick Marks will captain for the third straight year. Uh, Corey Janke uh, will be our, our vice captain. He'll share the vice captaincy with uh, Josh Lutsky, who comes back for uh, for season 2016. And uh, uh, Josh Kalmus will be deputy vice captain. And then Ben Kalmus, uh, Jeff Meezy. Nick Lewis and Jared Lutsky are also a part of the leadership group for 2016. Your second year in charge um, of the football club. Also, we brought in some, some new names um, to the coaching group. Who are they and what are their match day roles going to be? Yeah, so we've, we've had a bit of a coaching shift. Um, so, Rob Patterson, who's been my uh, assistant um, last year and, and ran our high performance. Um, what we've done is we, we've actually made um, a shift and, and rather, I guess, called it a, a promotion, if you like, and, and moved him to become the reserves coach. Um, so he'll work closely with myself in developing the reserves players. Ash Schenker, who was captain of the, the reserves last year, so we've appointed him as the under-19 coach. And then we filled um, some support um, roles around those guys. So Brendan Devlin will do our opposition analysis and, and defensive work with me in the seniors. Um, David Harris will, will be our um, senior line coach and, and uh, in the forward line and also work on our, our high performance and fitness. Uh, and then we'll, we'll obviously look um, to, to appoint uh, an adequate assistant soon for, for Ash Schenker in the, in the 19s and, and Matthew Schmidt will also join Pado as, a, as an assistant in the, in the reserves. It's often spoken around the club um, how we want to be an A-grade club if that's off the field and obviously striving. Uh, to continue on, on the road to A grade, when you come up against Old Scotch in round one, who obviously are coming down from A grade, is that the best challenge that you could hope for? No, I think it's a it's a great challenge for us. Um, you know, I, I I try and get the boys to, to understand that you know we look at good sides, and Old Scotch has been a great side for for years, um, not just you know last year or the year before or you know any one time. I mean, you know, you look at an organisation um, or rather a football club um, that's been in A grade for as long as they have. Um, so we've got nothing but respect for them um, and look at what they've been able to do and um, stay up in A-grade for as long as they have. So, you know, we certainly look to um, the challenge this weekend. Um, we look forward to playing sides um, that um, come with a, come with a you know, reputation as being a strong side. Um, and we, we certainly feel that, you know, we want to we wanna match it with, with the best that, that, that there is in B-grade and, and certainly um, we're here we're here to try and um, do the best we can and be great. Uh, there's no doubt about that. and um, We want to work hard to be the best possible team we can be. So finally, after about six months of, of hard training, uh, Saturday comes around, one comes against Old Scotch, 2 p.m. at um, Camberwell Sports Ground. What do you think you want your fans to see as an Ajax trademark when they come and watch the Simmons play football? I guess the trademark that we want to see is that players um, are having genuine belief and understand what we need to do um, in certain situations in the ground, on the ground at, at any one point in time, any one point in time in the game. Um, I, I hope that you know, people that uh, follow Ajax and support us you know, see a well-organised side um, that have some genuine belief in, in how they want to play footy. Um, they have a great ability to share each other's company um, and feel united um, and a really good close group of guys. Um, and that's emulated out on the football field that they care for each other, uh, they enjoy each other's company, and you know we're out here to have some fun and enjoy ourselves and play some good football. Um, and obviously we get judged on wins and losses, um, but that's fine. You know sometimes that's a lot of the time it's out of our control. Um, 
but what we want to control is our ability to try and put ourselves in the best position to win football games. Um, and hopefully we can have the concentration and the ability to do that this year and um, do it to the best of our ability. Yep. Well, firstly, Marty, thanks for joining us today. I'm sure there's been a lot of hard work, not just for the player, but for you and the coaching staff in this pre-season. Hopefully it all comes together. Uh, Ajax is way on Saturday at 2pm. Right. Thank you. So nice. do I. Cheers.